to my video. This is Tiffany from iHeartArtBlog.com and I wanted to show you how I created these little Valentine boxes. And I made two. I have a daughter and a son, so I have a pink one and a blue one. And then I have um, a second son, so I'm just going to go over how I made these real quick on the third one. I have this piece of cardstock. It's pretty heavy and it was embossed using this embossing folder designed by Eileen Hull and then it was die cut using this pattern the artist trading card box also by Eileen Hull after that I just trimmed up the sides and I have this embossed piece of cardstock and now I want to create the ombre effect that you see on the other boxes so for the pink one, I used these three colors, guava, bubblegum, and watermelon. And for the box on, for my son, I'm going to be using cotton candy, snow cone, and aqua dulce gelatos. And these are by Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft. So to begin, I'm going to lay down the darkest color down here at the bottom. Then I like to go switch to the light one at the top and then take my middle color and put it to the middle. Then you just take a baby wipe and you swipe it upward. You can see that the colors blend really nicely together to create an ombre effect and it's extremely easy. So once you do that, we are going to heat emboss it using clear embossing powder. And I'm using Versamark Dazzle Ink. Just gonna rub it across. I just use a, scre uh, a sheet of scratch paper for my embossing powder. Tap, 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 tap. Just pour it back in. Wipe, wipe, wipe. And then I use a trivet for heat embossing. And I have my Zap, my American Craft Zap embossing gun, heat, heat tool. So when it's done, you'll see that it has a cool glossy sheen and the colors are a little bit more opaque. And I'm just going to set that aside to let it cool a bit before we embellish. And I'm going to bring back my lightest color, Gelato Aqua Dulce. And I'm going to add some color to my matte board. And this is basically almost like chipboard embellishments, the same sort of surface. So the gelatos glide on really nicely. And you can make it as dark or translucent as you'd like. And I basically just did the outside edge of the box that we'll be showing. Then you just take your, the same wipe that you used to swipe and just blend in to the chipboard. Super easy. You don't want something that is too wet because it might um, cause your mat board to tear. And this mat board, by the way, is, is the Sizzix Sizzlets mat board, so it fits perfectly into your embossing machine. So I've done that. And now I want to stamp, I don't know if you noticed, but on my boxes I have this cool stamp on the back and it's Lawn Fawns Handmade with Love. So I'm going to ink it up using this color box ink. And this ink is by um, Stephanie Bernard. This is her guava. And then I'm just going to stamp it. Super pretty. So returning back to that heat embossed and embossed 
piece of paper. We just need to embellish it. So I'm going to bring back the blue one and just show you what it will look like once it's embellished. So first... <laughs> watching.